Here we have a new 2023 Chevrolet Malibu. This one comes in the LS trim level in the beautiful Riverside blue metallic on jet black cloth interior. And our powertrain on this Malibu is going to consist of a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine made it with a continuously variable transmission, AKA CVT. And as we come around to the front here, pretty much carries over from 2022 front end there got that kind of plastic black look with the chrome accents which actually looks really good and here we have 16 inch aluminum wheels on firestone tires we get passive keyless entry on the front two doors And here we have the controls for power door locks, power windows, power mirrors. Headlamp controls there. And there we have our driver's seat. So taking a look at the window sticker here, I'm actually really impressed by this vehicle because $26,000, all those standard safety features, remote start, as an option on here. Well, let's go ahead and hop in the back seat, check out that leg room. So I'm 6'3", and I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size. Not bad room, and I like how the seat kind of caves in so I can put my legs in here, and it's really not uncomfortable at all if I can hold them that way, otherwise, my legs usually tend to do that anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but plenty of space in this actual vicinity, and my feet have a little bit of room to slide underneath the seat, those size 15, so not bad. And when I had my Malibu, that was one of the best things about it was the actual room to fit everybody. There's a 12 volt down there. There's a view of the front. And these are used for commuter cars, so I think it was kind of smart to have your clothes hangers back here and then just have the bar up front, especially in this LS. And then you only have the pocket behind the passenger seat and then no pocket here. Well, let's go ahead and check out the back in that trunk space. So on this LS, we still have the standard tail lights no LED. But I will I will say I really do love this blue. Really looks good on this car. Of course, ample size trunk space. Now, I don't remember these hooks ever being in here, so or no, it's probably because they're folded out maybe. Cuz you kept mine like that, but you can use those if you need them. And then we're going to just demonstrate how folding down the back seat works. And there's our fuel filler there. Love not having gas caps. And I like that all of these, for the most part, GM vehicles, you can just press the gas cap open instead of having to pull a lever. And then that'll fold flat. And then you can just pull it back up to Lock it back into place. And there are the manual seats. Well, that's the manual seat for the front passenger. And of course, if you go up to the LT trim level, you can almost guarantee you'll get a power driver's seat, but you have to get that leather package to get power driver and power front passenger. Let's pop this hood. And there's that 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine.
And let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So just a standard kind of plastic vinyl steering wheel here. Nothing fancy, but I do like how they kind of put the grip here so it's easier to hold on to and drive. And it actually looks pretty sleek. Over to the radio here. We have AM, FM, and Bluetooth audio. But what's cool is even with this standard radio, we still have the wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto compatibility, which is really nice to have. And there's one of our home screens, or we can just have it set up like that. There's our backup camera with guidelines as you turn the steering wheel. And down here we have our auto stop toggle there, AC controls here. And then down there we have a USB-C, USB-A and aux input, and then a 12 volt as well. Traction control, we can toggle that there. And then our shifter, just have a button back here, reverse, neutral, drive, and then low mode, and we can manually shift in low mode there, down and up. And an electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, press down to disengage. Cup holders there. And a pretty good size center console cubby space, pretty deep. We do have the LED dome lights in here, which I like. Let's take a quick look at that back seat from up here. And then just look at that front passenger view again. I like that they have the aluminum brush here and then it's kind of like a black carpet kind of look, but for an LS model, it looks really good. And then there we have our owner's manuals. Now to the left side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise controls, forward collision alert, we can adjust the gap there, lane departure, we can toggle that. And then over here, we have our voice recognition controls and these four arrows along with this check mark are to go through our gauge cluster. So quite a few different metrics we can go through. But behind the steering wheel on the left side, we have our track list or radio station favorite controls, depending on what mode we're in. And then we have our volume controls here on the right side. Auto high beams there, blinkers, windshield wiper controls, push button start. And finally, key fob. And like I said, this one has the optional remote start. It's $300 option. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take this Malibu LS out on the road for a quick test drive. So I test drove an Equinox Premier earlier with a 1.5 liter turbo and i don't know if it's a six speed automatic or maybe just the weight of that vehicle but this malibu just seems so much faster and i mean with not having a shift or traditional transmission when i put my foot down it just kind of matches where i want to be as opposed to having to find that shift point or whatever gear it thinks i should be in based on throttle response I mean, the acceleration is just so much more linear in this Malibu than in that Equinox. And of course, with the CVT, we also get improved fuel mileage. So cruising at 75 here, even on this slight incline, I'm getting high or low 40s, high 30s in terms of fuel economy. A 
And surprisingly, it never went under 39. Yeah, this is really, really impressive. And like I said, decent acceleration to be such a small engine. Actually, it's better than decent. It's pretty good. And I just love how the Malibus in particular drive, even as they've changed since since they did the big redesign in 16, they haven't really had another redesign since then. They've refreshed it once, but it just, these drive so well and they ride so well too. I always tell people between the Camry and the Accord and all of that, the Malibu to me just rides the best. And there's the auto stop that just cut on. I'll give it a little throttle here. And this 1.5 liter really does, it's crazy with the CVT setup, how much easier it is to get this car to pull than with the six speed automatic. because the six speed is just, it it's slow to shift. And with the CVT, you're just good to go because you're not shifting anything. And having the standard, like the following distance indicator, lane departure, forward collision alert, I'm just so glad they put this technology in this vehicle because it really helps it become a viable option to somebody who would have gotten a, let's say a Camry with the safety sense or an Accord or something along those lines. This is actually a competitor now if safety technology is important to you. As opposed to having to get the driver, the driver confidence package or get a Premier or something where you can get all the stuff you want on a mid-level Camry. And then you still have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto in this too. I hope they don't discontinue these because these are one of the few cars that I actually do enjoy, but at the same time, they're just really comfortable. And not just in terms of the ride quality, the seats, all of that, just how it is to drive, just knowing I have all of my, all the audio I want in the radio, knobs are easy to get used to for the AC. And I really like how easy it is to, for someone like myself being 6'3", just adjust the seat and still have room for somebody to sit behind me in a car that's getting 40 miles per gallon. So with that being said, this is gonna bring me to an end of my review of the 2023 Chevrolet Malibu in the LS trim level.